Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an installation review of a wireless charging coil for the Samsung Galaxy S5, and this coil is from Best Fire. Now, for those of you who are interested in this technology or maybe wondering what um, this little device is and what does it allow you to do, well, it really allows you to eliminate the need to actually have to plug a cable um, into your Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, this little coil will allow you to charge your phone wirelessly. Now there will be a little pad that you'll use that you'll have to rest your phone on top of but there's no need to uh, connect any cables to your phone uh, to charge. If we take a closer look at this specific coil and we'll look at some of the specs that are right here You'll notice that uh, this coil itself has a 650 uh, milliamp um, output, which means that it's not going to charge as fast as your um, existing um, phone charges when it's connected. Uh, it's, it's just a little bit shy. It's not quite half um, the charging rate, but it's still um, significantly less um, than what it charges when it's connected directly. So you may ask yourself, why would you uh, choose to put a coil in your phone? Well, really, it's all about convenience. It's about if you don't really like the hassle of um, carrying a cable that you have to plug into your phone every single time and opening up the little tab that you have here in the bottom of your S5, uh, this is going to eliminate that and make it uh, much easier. Uh, you could also have, there are these wireless coil chargers that are also exist for cars and you can actually um, put this phone with a, a coil charger or a wireless charging pad in your car uh, to charge your phone uh, without having to have any cables connected to it. So let's see what is it going to take to install it into the S5 and then I'll show you how you can charge your phone. So the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the cover of our S5 and this is pretty straightforward. So here's my cover, it's removed. And then you have some contact points here and if we look at it in an angle right there, you'll be able to see that those contact points are raised. Okay, so those contact points that you see there are going to get connected here to your actual phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to literally align these contact points um, and you notice that there's three of them, one, two, and three. We're going to be aligning them just like so. And this little uh, coil area is going to be facing up. You will notice that there is a sticky there um, or glue that we'll remove. So we're going to remove that now and um, that is just used to keep it in place. So what I like doing is making sure that this aligns here, so with these three points, that it's aligned, and then once you align it nicely, and, you, and you'll want to keep it within the frame of the, of the phone, because you know, the S5 is waterproof, and uh, you want to make sure that the gasket that is here on the back does not get um, blocked in any way, because then uh, the waterproof uh, seal will get impacted. So if you notice right here, um, the seal is not uh, being impacted at all. So I'll be able to close this and it's going to be fine. So we're going to go ahead and close our case and all I'm going to do is just go around it and snap. Now this specific uh, coil is rather thin. It's like 0.6 millimeters thick. That's really, really thin. So um, you will feel some bulk and I'll put this in an angle so you can see right there. It's not that apparent but there, um, you know, if you touch your phone right here you'll feel that there's a little bump in it. Um, it, the seal is still in place and as I rotate the phone all the way around you'll notice that the seal is not broken whatsoever and um, so your phone will remain uh, waterproof and watertight. The, the bump that's right here is noticeable however as you put a case on your phone you'll find that the case um, will kind of uh, hide that for you. So now, now that we've installed it and you saw how quick that is let's go ahead and put it on a charging plate so we can see how it charges. So here I have my charging pad and you'll notice that the LED is green. Uh, this is the area that um, is also known like the sweet spot for charging. That's why you have that little symbol there. So what you want to do is get the coil that we installed here to line with this. And sometimes folks like putting it like this. I find that it's a little bit more difficult. So I like putting it um, landscape like this, not vertical. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone now that has the coil in it and I'm just going to place it until I see the light turn on. Now you notice it says on the screen right there that wireless charging has been enabled and the charging symbol is on as well and you'll notice that the LED uh, for the actual charger has changed from green to that deep blue. And that's all it takes to convert or upgrade your Galaxy S5 to a wireless charging uh, Galaxy S5. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions about uh, this uh, product or uh, the process I went through, uh, feel free to leave it on the YouTube channel. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.